Uh, would you support federal funding of the Red River Diversion Project in its current form to provide permanent flood protection for Marco Moorhead? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm very pleased that we've been able to pass in the House of Representatives the authorization through the uh, Water Resources Development Act, which, which includes authorization for the, uh, the Fargo Diversion. The Senate has done the same and it's in Conference Committee. Uh, any hour now, any hour within the next probably 48 hours, uh, the House and Senate Conference Committee will pass, uh, will, will vote on and pass out a conference report that we'll all get to vote on probably as early as next week that will authorize it. With regard to appropriations, of course, um, the House of Representatives has a ban on, um, on earmarks. We're not allowed to earmark a project for appropriation. So it's really up to the President and his uh, Office of Management budget to put it in his budget. The House of Representatives last year passed an appropriations bill that funded the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and water projects. The Senate never took it up. We passed several appropriations bills the Senate never took up last year. Um, but but, um, but what we did do is, is pass the appropriation for the administration's budget. So if, if somebody can get Barack Obama and OMB to put the funding in his budget and it comes to, to us, uh, for uh, the appropriation for the water and energy appropriations, I will certainly vote for it, absolutely. I will tell you this, however, the Fargo Diversion is an example of a lot of federal programs and projects. One of these we did in our word of version of the bill in the House was we gave tremendous flexibility for non-federal funding of projects. So we, we would authorize them because they fall under our purview, but allow localities, states, even private enterprise to pay for projects, whether it's ports or diversions or whatever the case may be. Because when you go to the federal government for funding for projects, here's the news. The good news is they'll fund half of it. The bad news is the price is twice as much. You lose control and you gain nothing. That's just a little hint to uh, North Dakota's policy makers. I believe the question asked if I would support federal funding for the uh, diversion in Fargo in its current form. And uh, based on what I know about its current form, I would not. I think there's still a lot of questions that need to be addressed about the layout of the diversion. There's a big concern to the south of Fargo about staging that water and, uh, and uh, you know, taking current residents and current farmlands and current home sites and turning them into a flood water staging area. Um, what about the rights of those citizens? Do we displace those people for the good of Fargo? I, I don't know what the answer is exactly, but in its current form, I don't believe it's designed well enough to where I would vote for federal funding. Fargo has done a lot to protect themselves from water, and they'll continue to do a lot to protect themselves from water. And there needs to be a permanent solution at some point, but it needs to be a permanent solution that's gonna work for everyone. So let's get the brightest minds, let's get the best guys on the case, and let's figure out a way where we can do it for less than $2 billion and not have to displace people that have lived in these homes for many, many years. Thanks for the question again, um, folks. I don't know if you, were, if you know where I live. I live in District 46, South Fargo, South Fargo which is South of I-94, east of 25th Street, in, in an area that floods worse than any district in the state of North Dakota. Over the past 10 years, my district and my neighborhood has flooded six times. Summer floods, spring floods. And let's just talk about what happened this last week. Does anybody know what happened in Fargo this last week? This last week, we had three and a half inches of rain. The level of the Red River went from 18 feet to 28 feet, with three inches of rain across the basin. Folks, let me tell you something. We have got to find a permanent solution to the flooding problem in Fargo and protect that community. To date, with all the study that's been done, years and years and years and years of study, there's only one solution been presented. That's the FM diversion. I am fully in favor of the FM diversion. It will protect our community. And also, I'm in favor of helping those folks down south adjust to the changes. We know it's a, we know it's a dramatic uh, change for them. And if anybody can come up with another solution, I am all in, I will work my hardest to find another solution. But so far, that hasn't been done. I've stood beside my neighbors throwing back sandbag year after year after year. And every year, the flooding seems to get worse. Why? We don't know exactly why, but the water is coming in from all over the basin. Nobody wants to store the water. 
So we have to find a solution. So I am fully in favor, and I will work my darts to get that FM diversion funded in Congress. Thank you. Next question will be asked by